everybody, John O'Flaherty, and today we're going to give you a little tour of one of Fort Lauderdale's best neighborhoods, the Landings. Okay, so some fun facts, as the kids like to say. One, this neighborhood was developed by developers Haft Gaines, two people, in 1962. All right, let me let me read a little things we got off the Google. Uh, all prices include a sodded waterfront lot. Uh, complete cost of construction, carrier air conditioning, GE appliances, uh, and lawn sprinklers. So there you go. All right. And here's what they sold for back in the day. There were 10 models. Not going to read them all. We had the provincial model at 38900 Fully completed house, by the way. The Renaissance, I like that, 47900 Ooh, the contemporary, 51900 and the traditional, the most expensive, 54900 Nowadays, the traditional would probably be the cheapest and the contemporary would be the most expensive. Um, all right, so when we show you this neighborhood, not entirely, but like 99%, it's an all waterfront neighborhood. About half the neighborhood is deep, I like to talk with my hands, is deep water, no fixed bridges. The other half is the fixed bridges. We're gonna show you what, that, what those bridges look like in the height. And uh, we're going to show you a couple different spots. So let's go take a this look. This is no fixed bridges. We're on the east side of Bayview Drive. And see that catamaran, that big sail? That never gets under a fixed bridge, OK? So we call it deep water. It's not because the water is any deeper. It literally just means you don't have to go under a fixed bridge. And we are actually live action shot. We're going to come across the street here. And this is the fixed bridge side, west side of Bayview, in the landings. Fixed bridge, east side, no fixed bridge. Canal's just as nice. The water is literally the same depth. It's low tide right now, by the way. The difference, you don't see any big boats. Now, those are nice boats. You're gonna see when we show you the bridge, it's like an 11 and a half, 12 foot bridge at mid tide. You can get a nice boat under there. So the fixed bridge side of the landings and Lake Estates, which we're gonna talk about in a second, is some of the best waterfront value in all of Fort Lauderdale. Okay, all right, I am a little paranoid. I'm gonna fall back here. All right, so in the Landings Lake Estates, they share the same canal system. Uh, on the fixed bridge west side of Bayview, there are two bridges that are the same height. So this is the bridge on 26th Ave, and then most locals would know the bridge on Bayview going north on commercial. They are the same height, and you can get a nice boat under this bridge. So I always quote 11 and a half feet for what we call mid tide definitely at low tide now you can see the markers I mean this is probably like 14 feet um, and you can see at 9 feet I don't even think there's a water marker there so it really doesn't get much higher than that um, I'm guessing even 10 I don't know the width I mean it looks about 20 ish feet wide so you can get a pretty badass boat excuse my language on the fixed bridge side under here and uh, again I mean the width of the canals is great um, some kind of sea creature in the background. So anyways, all right, fixed bridge for the landings, Lake Estates area, and just wanted to show you that in person. Okay, here we have a nice example of some as-built ranch homes that have been remodeled. Uh, interesting little tidbit. So with the landings, you're closer to Hillsborough Inlet, maybe 20 minutes to the north, and Port Everglades Inlet, probably be about 45 minutes to the south. Okay, everybody, thanks again for watching. I hope we added some value with our education on the Landings neighborhood. I'm signing off. This is John O'Flaherty. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.